Well, here we are, folks. I've decided to go on a ride outside of uh, Patea. I'm in a place called Petaroon, which took seven hours to get here. And as you can see, it's night time. Just arrived at, at a, a hotel, booked ourselves in. The first one wouldn't allow us in because I didn't have my passport with me. But the second one, I had my passport pictured on my phone and my visa, so they let us in. And this is the one we ended up with, which actually was the one recommended to us in the first place. And it's called Toffee Home, if I can get it all in. There it is. Not sure if you can see it, but it says Toffee Home. We're on the third floor. Cost us about, or should I say, costing me about £12 a night. I booked for two nights, but uh, the room looks comfy enough. I think I may stay six, seven days. I didn't realize I'm filming away this car behind me. Uh, nice of him not to have his own, but there you go. As you can see, he's just going past me. And I thought that was the moon, but it's actually a light. What I would call a street light. Hey, going past the bins. And I'm just going out for a walk and hopefully something to eat. Sorry about the shaking, but I'm holding, uh, using my camera. Tomorrow daytime, hopefully I'll use my ProGo 10. Do you know, my brain's gone, I can't even think what the name of the camera is. Uh, the Osmo Pocket, I think I've more or less resigned not to use that much. So anyway, Doing a bit of videoing with my mask on because even though we're out, out of the main city everyone's still wearing a mask in Petaboon and one of the main roads I wouldn't say the, the, the actual main main road uh, is in front of me and I'll just show you there's quite a few people out and about I think but it's a bit quiet that way so I think I think up to you. Anyway, I'm gonna switch off because I want to get my bearings and find somewhere to eat. Hey, anyway, speak a bit later, guys. Well, lo and behold, lo and behold, gone out for a walk, and three years ago, I stayed at that hotel. And across the road, I remember directly crossing the road, and this is the place to eat. And if I remember rightly, we had pork and chips practically every night at a very, very good rate. So now, I'm not sure if people like the idea of me filming, but I'm trying to be discreet and I'm only using my camera. Anyway, let's go and sit down and see what's on the menu. Tell you about it later. Right, I managed to sit down, first things first, with a Coke, <laughs> or Pepsi. Anyway, I'm looking at the menu and the prices seem about the same. Fish and chips, 60 bar, which is about £1.40. Pork chops, 75, which is about 170, 180. Fried rice with the chickens, as you can see, 60 bar. That's like £1.20. T-bone steak. Oh my Buddha. What's that? Four, eight, twelve. Um, about four pounds. About four pounds for me. Forty bar. Well, you get forty-three bar to the pound at the moment. So as you can see, that to the left of me, the chicken steak is a pound, and about one forty for the pork steak with a bit of toast, broccoli. Some carrots. As you can see, there's two sides to this 80 bar, 70 bar. Let's just quickly flip over. Hello. Oh, oh, pork, Hello. ham, knuckle. 195 is about Hello. five pounds, see. Eh? The other is 40 bar, it's less than a pound. Oh. So as I say, that's the menu. I've ordered the pork steak. Uh, 
75 bar, which is about 1 pound 40, 1 pound 50. They cook out in the open. It's about 8, eight o'clock at night. Uh, do you hear a toy in the background? But that's where they're cooking. Anyway, I tried to explain it to them. I came here three years ago, but it fell on deaf ears because I think they're new owners. But anyway, let's sit back and get ready to eat my meal. As I said before, um, three years ago, I purchased the same thing. And as you see, for 60 pounds, which is about one pound 40, um, pork, steak, chips, carrots, beans, and of course, tomato ketchup. Can't beat the price.